Okay, okay, okay. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Parenting 101. Freedom versus discipline. So I'm listening to Sergeant Willie Pete this morning at the gym before I go to work. And he's talking about discipline. And I started thinking, you know, interesting topic because I think it starts with parenting, right? Where you can have the society, maybe two factions of people who are parented, like people who were given freedom and people who are given discipline. Now, the question would be, um, who fares out better in a general sense? And personally, I would say discipline. Uh, because the way I look at it, you know, I've seen people who got freedom and they, at the end of the day, didn't have long for discipline, right? So as adults, they were free, but they were undisciplined and that did more harm to their life than good. Uh, but then I've seen people who were, were disciplined, parents disciplined them or gave them discipline and then they yearned for freedom. And even if they excelled and thrived in freedom, they were always able to have more balance because they, even with their freedom, they, they, they could create a structure and in, in, in order with it and, and be disciplined and, and constantly doing it because um, my, in my opinion free people are too free like free mind free spirited people people that constantly need freedom they're too free and what I mean by too free is they they're so free that they waste time they never just you know they never they I can't say they never they don't buckle down enough so when you're parenting, it's like, I'm going to teach somebody to just go with the flow. Well, adult life doesn't go with the flow. You got to make it, make your flow before you can be in a position to go with the flow. And to be able to make your flow, you have to be disciplined to actually create a structure and a system and an order that can, can fundamentally um, support your life that you're trying to create or have created or your lifestyle like just f free flowing all over the place doesn't doesn't create things and and and, and furthermore um i see people who've been parenting freedom you know kids are easy come easy go you know things come things go they don't they don't keep much and they become a drain on their parents because you know How can I say this? Who's going to take care of the kid, the grandkids in these situations? When the parent taught freedom and the kid learned freedom and the kid has kids and now the kids keep, is trying to teach freedom, but you know they they do things that in um, any adult sense would be like would be really off putting. Now then, but then people say, well, if you discipline and you over discipline, you know, what about being abusive and 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 then uh, maybe you, you hurt your kid's feelings of self-esteem and your kid might have issues. You know, that's the negative. That's definitely part of the negative of being disciplined. Like, you know, it can go that far. But people don't look at freedom like abuse, but your life winds up being abusive to you. But that's a whole nother story. But adding on to what I'm saying is, with a discipline aspect, it's like I see people. I've seen people who were upset at their parents for being on them and, and disciplined, right? And the kids were like, "I'm never coming back. I'm gonna get out of this world. I'm gonna do my thing." You know what I'm saying? So I never have to come back and be under those strict guidelines. But on the flip side, you know, when I've seen the people be free, I never go out in this world and. And ne and not come back home because these people in the world have these strict guidelines, and I would rather just be grown and live with you. See what I'm saying? So for me, uh, I would take discipline over freedom. That's just my opinion. That's just how I roll. Whatever. Uh, some people take freedom. That's just how they roll. Whatever. Uh, but as far as a societal aspect. You gotta ask, you know, is it, it what's the balance? Is it balanced that 
the, 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 the people who were parented to be free, are they like 50% dependent on the people who were, who, were, who were disciplined? And is the disciplined society 50% um, dependent on the freedom society? And, you know, for some people, it just depends on how you look at it. You know, the freedom people entertain the disciplined people. The disciplined people actually maintain the freedom people. So I think the maintaining has a heavier weight, but, you know, some people are looking for that, 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 the freedom side, because I think is 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 if if you can reach that, it's less work, more pay, you know. And the people who are disciplined, they day in day out, blah blah blah, going in for it, whatever. And but it's, it's a hard hustling. But if you're disciplined enough to enjoy a hard hustle, it's not a big deal, you know. So when it's freedom versus discipline, I choose discipline because it to me it has a better uh, return on investment for the whole family in, in the long run. So just my point, like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace.